Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we will take a look at the process of making a close-up shot for my film where I animate some hand movements. As my film is about climbing, I'm destined to need some close-up shots of hands chalking up before getting on the rock. In a few real-time videos on my Patreon, I go over the process of keyframing this shot, which still needs some color. The shot we're working on today will slot in right before this wide climbing shot to show my character reaching into his chalk bag and covering his hands with a dusty layer of chalk. For this I first shot a reference of myself acting out that specific action. Shooting your own references is something I think we should all consider. Most of us have access to some form of a camera, be it on your phone, and the quality of the reference footage is not that important. Important. As long as it captures a decent view of what we're trying to create, then we're golden. I have that reference on a separate monitor for me to look at while animating. From that point onwards it's basically a figure drawing session where I roughly draw the different hand positions. Here I have split things up in a few layers. Some elements never move like the legs of the character. They can be on a static layer that covers the entire timeline, while the hands which move in most frames are on their own layers as well. The chalk bag is somewhere in between as it only moves when the hands interact with it. During the later half of the animation it's also just one static image. For these types of animations where I have a clear reference to go after, the onion skin feature, which allows me to see the previous and upcoming frames, are actually quite handy. Sometimes it's not a desired feature in animation, as it can also limit and hold back on expressiveness, but here it's pretty good to have it. For most of my other shots in this film, I have gone from a rough pass to a clean pass before going into color, but for this one I decided to jump straight into the color after this first rough pass. I'm not sure if this was a good or a bad idea. It did speed up the process of course as I skipped a whole step, but I might have ended up losing a bit of details and control from this. By drawing a clean outline pass like I've done in other shots, it gives me a chance to properly define the drawings, compared to here where I went to the final pass straight away. As I haven't seen what the result would have looked like with the second pass done, I'm not gonna speculate too much in this case as I'm fine with how the end result for this shot turned out. Looking back at it there were definitely bits I could have done cleaner, but I will have to choose my battles with these shots uh, for this film, you know, to get any work done. Some shots are not as important as others. I think it conveyed the information I wanted it to convey and that's the most important part. when painting the environment in this shot, which is basically just some grass, dirt and rocks as we're almost looking top down on it, I will have to set myself a limit to how much detail I will put in. These close-ups might require more attention to detail than a proper wide shot, as things in the distance often can look better when suggested with less details. Looking straight onto the ground plane here, I feel like I won't get away with too messy of a painting. 
but I also don't want to have to spend days of work on each shot, so finding the balance there can be hard. Deciding when a painting is done, yeah, it's never that easy. I added a layer of chalk on my character's hand, and in After Effects I added some dusty particles coming off the hands as he puts them together. Some shots are a bit more straightforward than others. This one did not require much camera motion, and the main focus here was to get the hand movements right. Here is where I've gotten to with this animation. If you like these videos, then do check out my Patreon page, where you can find a lot more and also help support the channel so that I can keep making these. It's the support there that allows for these videos to be made. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.